Hello, my dear student. Hope you are fine and taking care of yourself. This is my next video on the topic registers combined in parallel. Before starting the topic, please do like and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for further notification. Let's see before doing that how to combine the registers in parallel. What does it mean? Look at now as you are watching R1, R2, R3 are the three registers and they are joined not like that in series one by one they their ends are common like this r1 end is here r2 end is here r3 end is there r1 r2 r so when the registers are combined across their ends so this is called parallel combination before find the total resistance we should check that what about the potential and current in parallel combination like we have done in series so first of all we will plug here and you will see that when we will plug the key, current start flowing through the circuit. This voltmeter is connected across the combination. So it will give a total potential. And this emitter is also connected across the combination. So what does it mean? Ki this circuit is for the total potential and total current I flowing through the circuit. As you are watching, what does it mean here? Potential difference is V and total current is I flowing through the circuit. Now see what is the difference in this what I have done. Let us plug the key and what we have done. I have this time connect the resistor across the R1 and emitter across the arm or branch R1 only not across the circuit. See the difference in these two. This is across arm or the branch we can say that R1 and this emitter is across R1 and this emitter is across the circuit. So what we will observe this potential reading is same. But this I1 is not equal to I. What does it mean? Across each register in parallel combination, potential remains same, but current is not equal. So what we will do now? What we will do now? We will connect this emitter instead of here to the instead of here to the th second register. Second register plus minus. And similarly, we will connect this voltmeter after removing from here to here, this voltmeter across R2. So we will see again what voltmeter same and I2 is not equal to I. Similarly, we will prove for I3 that is not is equal to I. Even what we will got here, we will got after substituting this I is the sum of I1 plus I2 plus I3. In series combination, we have done about potential. That is potential was the sum of V1, V2 and V3. And what we have got here, current is the sum of individual currents according to each register. So this we have to do first. In parallel combination, we will use this result. Now let us do next. We will use this result to find out the total resistance in parallel combination. See now how the find how we can find the equivalent resistance of parallel combination of three resistors. As you are watching R1, R2, R3 and parallel and I have written I1, I2, I3 is the current flowing through each arm or each branch and this total is the I current flowing through it and V is the total potential. So what we will write? Let I be the total current, I be the total current and V be the total potential difference across combination and each register and each register. So what we have proved in the last activity that I is the sum of I1, I2 and I3. We will use that equation. I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 because in each branch current will divide according to its register value. So by Ohm's law, by Ohm's law. What we have done? V is equal to IR. So here we are doing in parallel. So we will write parallel. So what we want to calculate? I. So V by RP is equal to I. Similarly, we will put other values. So put it here. What is I value? V by RP is equal to V by R1. What is I1? V by R1. Because V is constant. Potential is constant. I2 is V by R2 plus I3 is V by R3. Take V common. 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 and V by RP. So this V and V cancel out. 1 by RP 
is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. It means resistances in parallel is the total sum of individual resistors with their reciprocals 1 by Rp. So if we are having n register for identical, for identical, for identical n registers, what we can write? If instead of these are separate registers, if we are having identical n registers, so what we will do? 1 by Rp is 1 by R1 plus up to 1 by Rn. 1 by Rp is n into 1 by R. R means value of each register. R is value of each value of each register. So what we have got? Let us do it on this side. 1 by Rp is n by R. So what we will calculate? Rp, if we have to calculate, then we will do the reciprocal. That is R by N. This numeric, this formula is important because 1 by Rp is N by R. So when we will cross multiply R P reciprocal, we will do to this side. So what we have got value of each register divided by N is equal to the total sum in the register. Like 100 bulbs are combined in parallel, 10 ohm each. So what is the resistance in parallel? So it becomes 10, like I am saying 100 bulbs of 10 ohm each. Just general, I am taking it. Combine in parallel. So, what is the resistance in parallel? What is the value of each? 10. How many resistors? 100. So, we have got 1 by 10. That is 0.1 ohm. So, what you are watching? In parallel combination, total resistance decreases. So, that's why in our domestic circuits, we prefer the parallel combination. So, you have to revise these three topics properly. And moreover, you can check this activity given on your book on page number 213 and 14. And you can do the questions given on page number 216 of your NCRT books. Clear, better? Thank you for watching. And do the homework given in description box.